Hello, dear friends. Fear is anxiety over a real or imagined risk. Fear is a wall that separates what you are from what you could be. While your fear is, and there is your task. Young said, let your faith be bigger than your fear. Opinion piece, fear of everything. War sucks. Fewer wolves. Cosmic meetings. Complex situation. Grace hats do not act. Lack of unity of ordinary people. Waiting for something important. Isolation of the missionaries of light. Let's start. The world is currently dominated by fear, says Hakam. There is fear of a third wet party. Fear of children being recruited. Fear of cities going up in smoke. Fear of economic difficulties. Fear of Trump. Fear of the left. Fear of the right. Fear of immigrants. Fear of others, etc., etc. Although these times may be difficult, it is likely that we will encounter visitors from the stars this year or next. He adds. As Marife de Triana and Rocío Jurado sang, When you really love, fear is your jailer, and your heart dies. If they don't tell you, I love you. Fear, I'm afraid, afraid of loving you. Scared, I'm scared, scared of losing you. I dream night at day that I am left without you. I am my life, afraid, very afraid. Complex situation. Right now, the situation on Earth is within the range of predicted situations, and Hacken's prediction considers it likely, although not guaranteed, that life will improve substantially in 2024 or 25. Two critical variables are human energy and the level of consciousness of humankind, and these two variables continue to increase which is good. However, lately, there has not been as much progress as we would have liked. The situation is very complex, but there are three important reasons for this. The Grey Hats have not made any major public moves. There is some hope that the growing energy and current situation will prompt them to start taking overt action and even become become true white hats at some point in the future, but so far this has not happened. Many citizens of the West believed that they live in free societies or something similar. People can't build things on their own land without permits. They cannot run businesses without approvals and inspections. They cannot keep up buys without professional designations. They cannot educate their children outside of the study plans required by the state. They can't hire employees without triggering a host of tax and labor requirements. They cannot produce or sell milk, cheese or eggs without the license. They cannot earn money, spend it or own property without paying taxes and then retaxing them. Unity is lack. The common people are waking up, but not as quickly, and the good woke people have not come together from a large coherent group. In fact, you have done your inner work quite well in holding on to the light, but there is still no clear organization of light or first contact missionaries that is open and known relatively lush and not, not corrupt. The impact of the light bearers is being limited because many of them are isolated. Of course, many soul, souls of ordinary human beings also want the situation to be accelerated, and many souls are finding that their lower self refuses to awaken, and that they desire solace and basically go back a few decades not 
without realizing that this would be a desire to return to a more pleasant form of slavery. The souls truly wish for you to awaken your lower self and build a new world to experience this new heart-centered society. And furthermore, if the population remains asleep, then the black or gray hats would win and it would be a hidden group of controllers that govern the world, which is not good at all, unless the galactics interfere directly, which would have the disadvantage that human beings would not learn their own lessons and therefore the new society might not be stable. What souls really want is to awaken and inform ordinary people, because that would be the best path to the kind of heart-centered society that everyone wants to see on earth. Therefore, many souls are pushing things towards big confrontations to awaken their lower self. Conflicts. The galactics say they are not making a direct intervention yet, because creating this confrontation is the sole plan of many people, and they want to honor the free will decisions of the souls. Also, this would be a plan that could work to wake up enough people eventually, but in the meantime, it's very ugly. In fact, the known conflicts are helping some people to realize that war sucks and that the people of Earth must learn to live together in peace. Furthermore, the current situation is increasing the pressure of the Grey Hats to provide public information because they do not want war. Therefore, they may, they may finally be prompted to take action in the not too distant future. So these world situations are pushing people to wake up. On the other hand, the current conflicts are also causing even more fear in the world. Things may get difficult, but Haken doesn't think there will be an all-out conflict. Hopefully, the threat would be enough to scare people, but it can't be completely ruled out. Ultimately, many souls are moving closer to confrontation because people refuse to awaken and souls see few ways to awaken people. Of course, it would be a nicer path for the great hats to stop the bad guys and release it publicly. Proposal. It might help if there was an organization with a name something like Local Gatherings for Those Seeking First Contact with Benevolent Visitors. The goal of such an organization would be to facilitate local meetings between humans on Earth who are interested in first open contact with benevolent galactic beings, such as the Pleiadians. And such an organization could create an alternative future in people's minds, not a third world war, not tyranny, not a declining standard of living, but open contact with friendly visitors. Such an organization should not focus on hierarchies, leaders, former structures, or online meetings. The focus should be on local in-person meetings, preferably with some regularity, say once a month, or whatever frequency works best for each local group. What you do together is up to you and is not as important as the simple act of meeting in the first place. You could walk together, share a meal on, and a conversation together, have a meditation group together, organize small presentations or workshops on, for example, spiritual healing techniques, have a book club, club about a book on spirituality or galactic race, or discuss certain channelings that you have found stimulating or you could watch a movie together, do some volunteer work together, just do some fun activity together, etc. Aside from meeting people, what can you do in person? Of course, 
it is good to continue doing your own inner work because that also uplifts all of humankind. If you do that, you cannot be harmed or fail because you have brought light and done your part to help uphold the consciousness of the world. You can only be more or less successful. What you can also do is help others, even if it's just being kind to them. If people perceive that others care about them and are kind, it helps dispel some of the fear. Finally, listen to your own inner guidance. Curious. Saturn return records a massive energy imbalance challenging challenging existing weather models for the solar system's gas giants, according to Nature Communications. Elon Musk believes that Neuralink brain chips will replace cell phones in the future. I hope he, he, he is not right. Boeing loses 400 defective parts on its 737 model that could have been used. According to X-22 report, China is trying to destroy Boeing to replace it with its own air system. Now we discover that titanium is fake and is being used in airplanes. The excess of copper is growing in China as a sign of slowdown in its economy. According to X-22 report, the electric vehicle market is imploding when a product is imposed on people who do not want it. The first tropical storm of the season heads to Texas as a heat wave hits the northeast. Economy. The US public debt will represent 122% of GDP in 2034. Palisades Gold Radio believes that the only way to resolve this level of debt would be a Great Depression. The cure seems worse than the disease. China unleashes the largest debt crisis in US history with the push of a button. The recession is delayed, not derailed, as the economy approaches the tipping point, according to Kitco News. Japanese banking giant Norichukin will liquidate $63 billion in treasuries and European bonds to cover huge unrealized losses. My Crystal Age believes that there is going to be a revolt in treasury bonds. He adds that the revaluation of gold is already underway because China and Russia want to replace the dollar in foreign trade. In his opinion, China and Russia have devalued the dollar in the foreign exchange market in the oil trade. This is forcing foreign central banks to sell dollars back to the treasury. That means that global oil sales are no longer priced in dollars and interest rates will rise. Arcadia Economics reports on the BRICS countries move towards a gold-backed settlement currency known as the unit. Set plan is working according to IMF, reports Taylor Kenney of ITM Trading. India will overtake the US in 25 years, says former Indian chief economist. Iran launches digital rail as pilot project on Kish Island. More nations joining the BRICS will control key sea routes around the world, just as the Germany military has closed the Red Sea to Western shipping traffic. Malaysia has announced that it will also join the BRICS, giving the BRICS control over the Malacca Strait. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.